Hello, hello everyone! Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. So I went to one of my happy places yesterday and I don't go there often but when I do I share it with you because I just love to watch these videos myself. So I did a little bit of back to school shopping, a little bit of fall and Halloween shopping. Yes, I know it's August but that's what's happening in the US lately. So let me show you what I got. Let's start with these cute pumpkins. So this one is from last year. I've got a few new ones and I'm trying to do some kind of arrangement with them because they just make me so happy. Let me know if pumpkins make you happy. So I found this one. How beautiful. I found this one. And they have these little bits on top. It says thankful. They have like a bigger, cooler pumpkins in their super section, like the $5 ones. But I've got this very cool looking velvet pumpkin for just $1.25. I prefer my fall colors to be pink, blue, white, and a little bit of brownish. I don't like the bright orange and it doesn't go with um, just the interior of my home uh, we actually have the pink carpet that's why pink pumpkin and we have like blue accents here in the living room and I had this little organizational basket they still sell them and so I will work with it a little bit maybe put a little bow on it I think this could be a very cute decor and I got a little more pumpkins i'm not a big diy person but after watching all of those cool diy dollar tree videos gets me inspired and i can't always find everything i'm looking for in my dollar tree let me know if you have the same problem i was specifically looking for like a metal frame in a pumpkin shape so that i can like zip tie maybe spray paint but it's like a next level for me and there you go fill it up with pumpkins and stuff but i decided to deal with what i have and i got also these ones they have this fabric wrapped around them in a clip so that's as far as my decoration goes so far but let's move on to the back to school shopping and i'm not homeschooling my kids as of now they do attend daycare and the preschool 4k my daughter is starting 4k this year uh, but i did need some supplies for entertaining them at home so my youngest is two and now he wants to do just every single thing my older one does so i have to get two of everything pretty much so i've got this cute holders cutties for supplies to make sure everybody gets their own stuff and hopefully there will be less fighting here is a cool find so i got just one sheet of these stickers classroom creations so i figured that these would sell really fast they are donut themed my daughter is into letters right now and i'll just hide it for now and see if we need to do any kind of project because with my younger one this will go very fast so i figured this is something cool to have on hand for school projects and since she's practicing to write now i got just these two practice writing pads how to do two because he's gonna be trying to write next to her for sure they're pretty simple the quality is not so great but i mean for just using some pencils or crayons on them like i said in dollar tree for this price i don't care about getting to the same things even though he doesn't really need this right now then i saw a container i got last year that i'm using to store all different stuff toys supplies school supplies everything it's been working really well and i think it's just uh, very handy i've got a couple of dry erase markers we do have a board already my younger one is not there yet so it's hard to do it with him but again for practicing letters and numbers and everything she's gonna be learning now and they did have personal boards with marker or without which is also a cool idea but i figured that my younger one is just not there one thing that he's kind of ready for is working with the glue and only had one glue stick and i didn't want to get a pack of a million of them somehow it's just it's just too many why do i need so many so i saw this school glue because sometimes my older one would need something like this and i'll show you for what as well and it comes with a glue stick because obviously it serves different purpose but now we're gonna have two glue sticks and one actual glue for my older one when my younger one is sleeping because everything is a fight right now this is like a new level we are going through here 
terrible to start it and we're just learning how to navigate it because you know when Mikaela, my older one was in that terrible twos year we didn't have a sibling to navigate it with and now it's a whole whole new story if you have any advice drop it down below just a random staple i needed some scissors she has a pair of scissors they did sell two pack of kids scissors so if you your younger one is the age he can use scissors because it says four plus years on them then you can get it but we have one pair and that's enough i don't let him use scissors just grabbed one pair for our household for adults Another random thing, these hooks and I try to do some DIY organization stuff with. They've been really helpful around the house. Another random staple, sheet protectors, running out of this. And I thought I should have some on hand. So I feel like in Dollar Tree at this period of time, you can definitely stock up on some staples just for your home, for your office, for a good price. And I got myself like a planner. Usually these are very expensive, but for $1.25 I'm just trying to get into the planners like this and I found one that has, you know, by week and by month planning They have a ton of different ones and I'm not talking about the cover I'm also talking about the inside they have with lines, with dots, with uh, just day by day, whatever you want Right now they're still in stock, pretty sure you can get your hands on them and again, with designs, they go above and beyond. I figured I'll get them um, enjoy each and every moment one. And then I've got also kind of matching color set. Just this notebook with the sheets that I can just rip off when I don't need them. Just to write some notes or to-do lists. I do write them now in my phone. This feels better oftentimes. Another staple I get at Dollar Tree that has been so useful are these cards. So thank you notes and just plain cards. So these can be used as birthday cards, any kind of card. So I try to pick like a gender neutral theme and then this one as well. It's a pack of six for $1.25 or even a dollar, not quite sure. You definitely need these on hand with all the birthday parties, kids' birthday parties, and even holidays. So definitely, if you haven't considered getting this plane and thank you notes to have on hand, go ahead and get them. You'll thank me later. Now I got this scrub bodies soap dispenser brush supposedly it's a dupe for a very popular amazon product that costs a lot more than that i can see how it could be very useful in the kitchen but also in the bathroom for like the shower and everything yeah trying to level up my cleaning on a budget now i have a failed purchase from dollar tree a night light paw patrol night light they have disney and everything but guess what it's like broken it does light up, so it goes like this. I mean, maybe it's just my luck, but I'm assuming it's pretty flimsy for $1.25. We don't have any night lights, so I figured we needed one for a restroom for the night. But when you turn it on, unless you hold it, it won't light up. So it basically something is off here. Something is not tight enough. So obviously the packaging is open, but I have the receipt. And whenever I will go back to Dollar Tree, I will exchange it for whatever else because if you do have a receipt sometimes even if you don't and you bring stuff back to Dollar Tree they don't do like um, a refund but they do have that credit they can give you actually they just tell you okay leave your items here go grab some snails and exchange it and they're just fine with it it's, it's that easy oh this is such a bummer because my kids got so excited I told them I got them a surprise and then we went to put it on and it did not work so be careful with this. Some other things that I love to get in Dollar Tree are these coloring and workbooks. I ended up getting really quick just the princess ones because I was in a bit of a rush and these were actually by the register. But it's not just for my kids. I like to keep something like this for like birthday parties in uh, their schools because sometimes they would try this overnight hey uh, tomorrow we're gonna have this birthday party of this child and if uh, my daughter is a friend with the child she would ask for a gift to bring often and obviously you know we don't even know this kid so i try to give her something very simple and one of these items would be amazing so i'm pretty sure they should have something with superheroes so another advice for you to have some of these 
on hand because again just dollar 25 and you have yourself a gift and if you pair a few things from dollar tree you can come up with a very decent and very interesting and pleasing gifts for any child now a little bit more of fall and halloween i found some really cute things this year and these are diy pumpkins maybe they had them last year but i haven't seen them so my kids are exactly at the age where they would love to do it and that's why we have a glue we needed some more so again so they don't fight so i did end up getting different ones and i hope this won't spark a fight but i think this is really something cute and affordable you can keep your kids entertained with this fall season besides that look at this three pack of craft kits this is for thanksgiving obviously but you can create three different characters and i figured i'll just keep one aside and give them um the turkey and the owl so for dollar 25 you get three crafts to do they have a lot of other characters and options check these out because i'm pretty sure this will sell out fast as well and i've got a couple of very cute stickers so I am always looking for something that does not have bones, blood, and any of that horrible thing. And Dollar Tree usually have different options and I was able to find some cute ghosts. And yes, I see a little bit of bones here and maybe I'll just remove them. It's just um, something that I don't like to introduced to my kids let's put it that way especially after the terrible war in my country started i definitely reviewed uh, my feelings about kids playing with weapons and all these halloween terrible things so we're trying to keep it more positive and fun because i do like halloween i see how my daughter likes halloween so much and it's a, it's a lot of fun but we try to keep it a little more kid friendly another cool find i did not get because it's for little older kids those are grow to good juices or juice drinks uh, that have all those cute characters on top of them and usually in grocery stores they are just much more expensive than dollar 25 so i figured i'll show you that and in case you want to create some easy diy on a budget sensory beans for your toddlers i have a video on that you pretty much can find all the same stuff in dollar tree this year so check that out give this video a like subscribe to my channel and i will see you in this one